conversation we had was never anything toxic, ever toxic. Like, I didn't see anything when it came down to business. Like, he's a businessman. He owned everything. And then he told me that he mentioned God, and he used God for that. He told me that he had killed someone, and he felt like this was his opportunity for redemption. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I'm a real boss, so I don't have a representative for me. Then there's nobody telling me do or don't. He's not, I don't need him to talk for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I need to be his manager. So right. then he wouldn't be on here acting so crazy. So you would you would never work with this guy again? Ever. I'm not working with him. And then this event is not his event, so we're going to still move forward. And okay. he's just out of it. Okay, so he basically, how did he end up even linking into it? Yeah. Because we were, this is the thing. We were on. I was on the phone with his um, publicist at the time. She's no longer his publicist, from my understanding. And me and her were just having conversations because we grew a relationship. And how me and you are talking, I was telling her, and we were just brainstorming about stuff. And I was like, you know, a murder changed me because she lost someone to murder. And I said, murder changed me can go across the board to victims and people that actually kill people. I said, so many people are affected by murder. So murder changes more than just a parent. And she was like, you know what? That's good. Something, something. So we did a conference call and we called him and we were talking about it. And within the next week or two, I started seeing, she started having conversations. She was like, yeah, yeah, something. Cause murder changed me. I'm like, what is that? And she said, uh, she took well, we what gonna, you said. We going when she shared that with him, but he took it and created this, I guess so. Event. I guess he just had a conversation, right? And so it's a good idea. And I was even saying, I was like, and you know what? We can probably use, um, like, change up the pattern. You know how the MCM purses or whatever, yeah, like yeah, that. And yeah, he was like, yeah. oh yeah, we can get a deal with them. We could do this. So everything was that. <laughs> oh, so and, it's by money. <laughs> trust me, <laughs> I'm learning that. In the, in the, but in the beginning, that's not how it was presented, right? And so it was just something of like get it together. And I seen the flyer, and so I'm like, okay, I see what's going on, and. Like I said, it because it was so familiar to me, I'm for that kind of stuff. Like, I really am. Now what he has taught me is to be careful who I get connected with. But when it comes down to healing, I'm for it because I'm a prime example that it's possible. In the beginning, did you see any signs? Because, you know, you know they always say we have a spirit of discernment. Mm -hmm. Did you see any signs from him? I did not because you got to understand the conversation. He's very intelligent. So the conversation we had was never anything toxic ever toxic like I didn't see anything when it came down to business like he's a businessman he owned everything and then he told me that he mentioned God and he used God for that he told me that he had killed someone and he felt like this was his opportunity for redemption so I'm like I'm, I'm amazed and inspired by his story because you are actually you know a killer too this before we met the other guys mm -hmm. the panel people mm -hmm. I'm just meeting you like, dang, you are, and you done changed your life around and you want to, you know, anybody that's tuned in to God, that's a praise break when mm -hmm. you can change your life around. So that's what connected me with the whole situation. Yeah, well, when you look at the track record and the people that's been on this show, they say that he didn't even do the, it wasn't him that murdered anyway. I, I so it's it, like, see, like when you, you hear these stories, it <laughs> sounds good, but, the, the, you know, like I quoted earlier, you know, there, there's a deal where you know even even Satan himself is transformed into an angel mm -hmm. of light. Right. So you know, know even, that you know like people can change. You know, uh, uh, wolves come in and she she's coming. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. people are turning on you in a minute. Exactly. And I'm I, and that's just the way it is. You know. And and like I said, I always wished him the best with whatever he do. But I just know that as you, you should be happy because you're not attached anymore. Exactly. And even now, like I'm not. <coughs> have an ill will feeling like no I don't, me neither yeah, I, don't, like, I don't even care enough to know like I don't want to know his history I'm not going to go search him and find out his old stuff well you didn't I, go through enough yeah. with him that you don't yeah, even know that's it. like I don't even know you a couple of few little minutes and then and so this I just want people because people have been you know I can tell the difference in folks. They kind of quiet. They want to reach out, but they don't know how I'm feeling. They think I'm messed up. I'm like, you know I'm about that. Good, you know. So it's kind of like we gonna hush because we gonna wait to see you. You know, I'm getting text messages, calls. You know, just checking on you. I am good. I yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk.